On the continent of Corvair, a chance encounter brought four intrepid travelers together on the road to adventure. Though they began as strangers, they soon became known as the Hero Squad. So, uh, last time, just to quickly summarize, y'all did learn secrets from the brine of kind of telling you a little bit more maybe about what your uh, situation is and how it folds into this draconic prophecy uh, that y'all seem to be uh, enmeshed in. Um, and you returned back to Stormholm. There you met back up with Lordran and you um, came up with a plan to essentially uh, get some disguises that would help you uh, escape the city safely and to make it to Fairhaven safely, where Brittany and Christina need to put on a show as they have been absent for far too long. Um, on the way there, you took an airship uh, and uh, <laughs> our intrepid teammates have taken on new identities. Rager has become the ever lovely sexy librarian Samantha who has also taken on the role of what do you do for them? Oh, I am the accountant and I'm also a new rat mother. Oh, new rat mother of Felicia. Of uh, Felicia. Yes, because you did also learn how to play the rat. I did. Uh, that Thank makes, you very much, that Christina. Makes rats come to where you are. Um <laughs> And Atlas took on the role of Jolly, <laughs> the <laughs> firefighting gnome who is also <laughs> potentially in a relationship with Brittany. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> and, it's complicated. And is also maybe a backup dancer or something? I can't remember. Pyrotechnics expert. Pyrotechnics, Pyrotechnics expert. I deal with fire. Yes. <laughs> so that's what Jolly does. Uh, and Marika, I just changed her hair. Um... <laughs> And uh, they rode on this airship for a while, sadly, because of the uh, learning to play the rat flute, um, had to be grounded early, and they found themselves trying to get uh, tickets to board a train at Eskelio Station so that they could head to Fairhaven, and they were able to um, convince this man, Edwin, to allow them to take uh, several of the cabins that he had already rented. And that is where we find ourselves. So if I remember right, Brittany decided to be in her own room with another dude. With Edwin, yeah. Because I was very upset about this whole or ordeal. Yes. You're very upset. I, I cried. <laughs> okay. Real tears. It's true. It was not it was not a a ploy. Uh it it was not to convince, it was in fact true tears. Um so <laughs> you we find ourselves, I think I said three rooms that y'all had yes so i think it's edwin and Brittany. Mm -hmm. christina who are you rooming with uh probably samantha so either samantha or marakai i guess and then uh jolly and marakai i guess sure <laughs> oh mark is um, very happy about this situation yeah mm -hmm. real happy uh and so um there we are we're on this train it has uh, set towards Fairhaven. Um, much like last time, you know, you find yourselves in this nice fancy cabin. Uh, you are surrounded. This it's much more packed than before. When you go, if you decide to go into the, um, kind of like the bar area, because as you remember, the airship had to land prematurely. So this is a packed train. There are tons of people here, and a lot of them are very well to do and very frustrated that they couldn't get into the first class cabins that all of y'all are occupying. How long do you think this journey is going to take? A couple days. Yeah. yeah you'll be on the you'll probably be on the train for like two nights. Okay. Um, so you are free to walk about, do whatever you would like to do, try and maybe schmooze with a couple of people or lock yourself away in your room. So why are you, you looking want. at me like that? I'm not looking at you like that, but I do lock myself away. In <laughs> and then I send notes to everybody about a family meeting that we're going to have tonight. You're going to have a family meeting. Okay. Yeah. What does the note say? We're having a family meeting in Edwin's cabin. But what, but what does family meeting mean? Like, are they going to understand what that means? 
get your butts in my cabin at this time. That sounds more like Brittany. Okay. Family meeting. <laughs> um, yeah, I like to schmooze. You want to schmooze? Yeah. Okay. So, Jolly, you pop out of your, your room. and I mean, he was the life of the party on those ships. It's true. That's true. Yeah. So, I guess, yeah, I go down to, like, wherever the food car or the, mm-hmm. the booze car yep. is or whatever. Yep. Um, I just try to rub elbows to... I mean, I already attempted to do this with presumably the same crowd. We're just trying to find out what's happening in Fairhaven. Yeah. It, it, um, and, and, you know, you see some faces you recognize, some you don't. But still, most of these people were on the ship, and maybe you didn't see them before. Because you sure. you made an impression mm-hmm. on everyone. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. I mean, Jolly does that. Yes. <laughs> um <laughs> It's the hat. It helps. <laughs> Honestly, first thing, I'm just, uh, I'm mostly at the moment first curious what everyone's take on their current feelings are as far as having to quickly land the ship and uh-huh. the ship having to be evacuated because of rats. So go ahead and roll like a, I guess just go roll for a, a charisma. That's 17. Jolly's got that charisma. Yeah. So you 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 know kind of walk on up. You walk in, and a whole bunch of people are like, Jolly! Hey! So good to see you. You really do bring a light into these terrible, terrible times. Oh, thank you so much! Oh, I cannot believe that that airship was infested with rats. Truly disgusting, isn't it? Absolutely horrid. Those beasts. Vile rodents. Oh, I I won't be able to sleep for days. <laughs> Some good music that was happening while they came, though, isn't it, Ryan? Yes, there was some great music while they came. That's an interesting way to put it. Uh, <laughs> now that I think about it, I did, I did hear like a, a, a flute or something. Right. Yeah, very odd. Very odd indeed. You don't believe that there was some kind of mischief afoot, do you? Who's to say, really? Isn't that the intrigue that we all want to hear? Oh, jolly. You are a thinker. You're going places, Jolly. Thank you. Speaking of intrigue. Yes. What do you know has been going on afoot in Fairhaven? Oh, well, you know, uh, there's a festival coming up, right? And oh. so we're, everyone's planning and moving about. You know, personally, I don't find myself that interested in it, but it does keep the common folk occupied, you know? So whatever keeps them interested in not taking things from me, I'm happy about that. So oh. it should be wonderful for them. I hear that some famous uh, duo was going to be playing there or something. Um, quest Questinese uh, uh, babies? Questney's child? Sh- sure, that, yes. Of co- I don't keep up with this popular music, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, honestly, if you can make it, I think you should. They put on a great show. Really? I do the pyrotechnics for it. Oh, so it'll be a spectacle. Bright lights everywhere. Well, they do call Fairhaven the City of Lights, so I'll be intrigued to see what you can do, Jolly. Hopefully I can make it live up to the next. Oh my goodness, I, okay, we will be there, oh my goodness, this is so wonderful. Yes, I, I, so I hear that, yes, this um, this band will be playing, and then uh, afterwards I believe there's going to be uh, a performance. Uh, House Farland's bringing in their famous airship to put on a show. Ooh. Yes, uh, it's been a while. They I, they were they were in Stormhome for a bit, and then I'm not sure they, they kind of, I think they toured somewhere east, but I believe that they're coming back around to Fairhaven, yes. Interesting. Do you know, like, any details of... Uh, that's happening sort of the night after the quest? Yes, okay. yes. So there, there will be the, the concert on one night, and then the following night there's going to be this big show. It's a whole, you know, weekend affair. It's going to be wonderful, I guess. That sounds delightful. I'm more excited to hobnob with a few of these people, if you know what I mean. Oh, I can understand. (laughs) Jolly, you do know. You do know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Oh, oh, Jolly, you you have fun. You have fun. And thank you for brightening up my day. Thank you. (laughs) So while this has been going down, I've been just sort of watching. Okay. Jolly hobnob mm-hmm. with these snobs. Hop snobbin. Snob nobbin? Stop snob nobbin, you. Uh, <laughs> get back to work, you. So uh, afterwards, I come up to Jolly mm-hmm. and say, My God, Jolly, you are just the life of the party. I am afraid that you may not be able to go back to Atlas at this rate. I don't know. I It's... It's been nice not bumping my head on so many things, but it's been a lot more people kicking me, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, yes, I can imagine. 
Little Felicia here, she knows all about that. Ooh, what was the previous guy's name that I was just... I, you, I, you didn't I, ask. I, I keep Felicia away from that guy. He seems particularly upset. We'll call, him, no. we'll call him Morton. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. I take it off, and I put Felicia underneath it. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> I'll just keep her under my hat there. <laughs> It's like a gratitude. So what is the word? So apparently the house Farlin show that we saw in Stormhome is gonna put on another show (gasps) the night after Questney's Child's performance. No. Yes! We've got to tell Brittany, Christine, and Marakai. And honestly, we need to figure out what the heck we're gonna do. If uh It's Mary Kate, by the way, remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Um, I mean, yeah, if Leodragar's back and whatnot, we need, a, we need a, a plan of action. We definitely need a plan of action. But wait, now there's so much to do. Obviously, we need to tackle this Leodragar situation, mm-hmm. but also we need to find this Durgan secret word. Wink. Uh- <laughs> I've learned my lesson from just shouting the D word in a crowded room. <laughs> this Durgan. Durgan. I thought you were like blanking on someone's name, but no, okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, oh, you mean dragon? <laughs> oh, God, Jolly. <laughs> Somebody say dragons? No. I believe I saw Have I introduced you to my friend Felicia? No, my goodness! Rat! Rat! I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> and a whole bunch of people like turn and like they're, they're like looking. And uh, will you roll a sleight of hand? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> What does that say? That is a 19. 19. Okay. Nice. So, I, know, I so also have that. amazing slide so, hands. So you flash it in a way that literally only <laughs> this person can see it, right? And uh, everybody else, like, they turn and they look, and this person is pointing at you and screaming, RAT! RAT! This man has gone rat mad. <laughs> The rats on the airship seem to have gotten to him. Somebody should take him rats. to the infirmary. Rats! Post haste. He's seeing rats everywhere. He keeps on pointing in every direction. <laughs> so uh, you see two guards kind of like like clearing through people. Because again, it's very packed in and whatnot. And they kind of come up and they're like, what's, what's going on here? What, what's happening? This man keeps shouting about rats and dragons. I think he's out of his mind. No! <laughs> dragons and, and rats! And <laughs> There's a rat! She's, she, she has a rat! Guys, that as you can clearly ridiculous. see, he's pointing to a person. Look at That's me. That's not a rat. Would a beautiful woman such as myself, dressed as well as I am, <laughs> have a rat? All right, sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Come on, come on. And they, they, they're carrying this guy out towards the back. He's kicking and screaming and pointing. Just, rats! Dragon rats! <laughs> They take him out through the back. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> what, who comes on through the door right after them, a little gnome walks in, uh, and he's like, Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I am your engineer, and I'm sorry that you have to deal with all this kind of stuff. We realize that this is so uh, uh, not what you were planning on. It is not what we were planning on either, but we really you know, want to make sure that you get to Fairhaven safely and everything. So just if everybody could please you know, try and keep calm and maybe not scream about rats. We don't have any rats on this train. I promise we don't have any rats. Please stop yelling about rats. No rats. Got it. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I, I, he like walks up to you. You will recognize him as Ranspur from the first train. Oh right. Okay. We don't, we don't. I don't get a lot of gnomes around here. What are you? What are you doing here? Oh right. So, um, I'm part of uh, a traveling musician group, and I'm their pyrotechnics expert. Oh. Really? Uh, what what group? Would I have heard of them before? Or you ever heard of Questney's Child? Have I ever? They're they're here on this train. Yes, they are. Oh my goodness! I was the conductor on the train that they were last on. I I'm gonna have to go and speak with them just just to apologize about what happened. It was so terrible. Oh my goodness! Uh, what happened? I mean, you didn't hear? No, I mean, we, we've been in Stormhall. There was uh, an attack on the train, and. Uh, a woman blew up the the front of the train and released the elemental and destroyed half the track and you know and then 
they really quickly got that Escalio station up and running, which was weird. I didn't know that that was that they had a plan for that. It's an odd thing to happen. It's awfully convenient, is what it is. I mean, between you and me, I think that a couple of the houses are going to really benefit from having another station, if you know what I mean. Which houses would those be? Oh, House Caneth for one. House Farland for another. Really? Being able to have these other poor... Anyway, I I don't mean to... <laughs> There's a lot of people around, and I, I don't mean to imply anything. I'm sorry. I just... I really shouldn't... Um, I shouldn't say these things. I should, I should go. It was a pleasure to meet you. From one dwarf to another, if you need anything... <laughs> dwarf. From one gnome to another, if you need anything, let me know. I mean, we got to look out for each other. It's tough times. What was your name? Uh, it's Ransper. Ransper. Ransper Greasland. So Ransper. nice to meet you. I'll give you a traditional gnome high five. All right. <laughs> now you need to roll a charisma. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, another 18. 18. <laughs> you know it. And you do the traditional gnome high five. And it's like, ah, oh, it's been a while since I got to do that. Is oh, there man. something different about their traditional? Like, Ooh. can you describe what a traditional gnome high five is? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, you never bend the elbow. It's just straight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, okay. Did it's like you a windmill. have like a gnome roommate during paladin school? I, we need to find I, out the backstory. Yeah. Why do you know this? Yeah. I read it in a book. Okay, so just a straight arm high five. Just straight, it's just like a windmill. It's a windmill. Okay. Windmill, nice. straight nice. arm, never bend the elbow. Nice, okay. <laughs> Could be dangerous for some people, uh, but you nailed it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, for a taller person, you'd be knocking people over. Right. Yeah. That's why it only works for That's why Atlas never tried it before. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Is there anything else that you two would like to do in the where you're at right now? Uh, do we already have the notes that you have sent us? I assume st- I sent someone to deliver them. They would be probably at yeah. probably in the rooms. We'll say you you received them earlier. You're all okay. aware. Yeah. Well, we should probably share this news at this family meeting mm. that we fam. That's what it says, right? <laughs> you also said something about getting our butts there. Oh, is that what that word is? <laughs> But that's what that word is. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm learning. You are. I'm getting there. Not quite as proficient at reading as I am at fluting, <laughs> but someday. <laughs> You're an experienced flautist. Uh, then yes. The meaning Let's get word. our butts over there. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So y'all are heading over to mm-hmm. British room. So we'll just assume that y'all, y'all, that took up your day. Mm-hmm. Um, Christina. I've been just been hiding in my room since uh, most people are probably angry. Mm-hmm. Decided to stay in my room. And yeah. Just wait out the trip. Do, is there anything that you allot your time to? Do you work on anything? What's the. What do you get up to? How do you keep yourself from boredom? going crazy? Um, that's a good question. How would I keep <laughs> myself from going crazy? I guess I spend a lot of the time just watching the scenery pass and okay. just trying to figure out how to apologize to Brittany later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you have this any is insight? not the first time I have ever angered her. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Probably won't be the last. No, it won't be the last either. We're sisters. That's what we do. <laughs> the traditional way I've always uh, appeased her is I'll say, like, this is totally my fault. I'm so sorry. Da 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 da. Also, I bought you this wine, but I don't have the wine at the moment because I don't want to leave the room. So I have to wing it somehow. Okay. So while you're in there at some point, you hear a knock on the door. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Markai. Oh. Oh, yeah, come in. Markai comes in. Yeah, I was just like really bored by myself. I mean, I can feel you. Yeah. Yeah. Also like, having to do that voice is really lame and I didn't want to talk to too many people. Like, it sucks. Right? I can get that. So, um, uh, what's going on? Beats me. All I know is that everybody at the airships probably pissed off that we got all the single first class rooms. So oh, I yeah. decided to stay in here and not have to deal with that. Yeah, but I mean, but you guys are like famous musicians or whatever, right? So like they'll probably be like, oh my god. It's still the same. <laughs> it doesn't feel mm. good. Yeah. No, I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Wanna get drunk? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls out like a couple bottles of wine. <laughs> <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to take one of them. I'm not going to drink it. She pulls out another bottle of wine. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, yeah. let's roll for charisma. She did not roll well. Jesus Christ. 
I did not roll either. You both get sloppy drunk. <laughs> um, actually, that would, like a, that would be a constitution. Do but. I learn anything about Mary Cry while we're sloppy drunk? Um, that depends. Do you ask, what questions do you ask her? Um, You're more in control of your faculties than she you gotta is. you got to ask it yeah. in, a, in a drunken way. Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to think of the question that I want to ask her right now. Uh... So, Mary Kate. She's just Mary Kate. Oh, Mary I'm Kate. sorry, Mary Kate. How, <laughs> how, how did you start in Farland? Uh, um, uh, like, well, they, uh, did I, they find you, or did you just run away to the circus? Because I know, I know that feeling. No, oh, no, no. I did that once. No, I blew up a thing. I blew up a couple of things. And they put me in jail, mm-hmm. you know. And then I, <laughs> and then um, Farland came, and they were like, "We'll get you out of jail, but you gotta come work for us." And I was like, "I don't know. I don't. I don't do the work thing." But um, then it was like, "Otherwise, I'd be in jail." So I was like, "Okay." And they said, blow up a thing. And I was like, oh, this is good. <laughs> and that's, that's what I do. That's amazing. Maybe I should blow up this train. How many times have you blown up stuff? Like, a lot. Like, <laughs> more than you can on your, more, more on your fingers? Like, yeah. Yeah. Lots. I mean, it's fun, right? Like, where's Jolly? He like, you know, he's a fireworks guy. Wait. No, he's a fireman guy. Wait. He puts out the fires. <sighs> Jolly's not real. <laughs> <laughs> he's as real as Samantha. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate her name. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many A's can you put on a word? But she's hot though, right? Oh, she like super hot. Like, I didn't say she was pretty, but it's like, I mean, just get, get rid of a couple A's. Give them to somebody else. Somebody else needs a couple A's. <laughs> Just be Samantha. Uh, <laughs> I'm um go um I sh- uh, go bedtime. <clears throat> no, we can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. We gotta talk to Brittany. Oh, okay. She oh. sent us a note. I don't know why. I know she's angry. That's why I wanted the other bottle of wine. <laughs> Because she's angry. She's angry all the time. Why is she always so angry all the time? <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. What, like, what is, what's your guy's story? Like, what is your, like, why are you guy, like, because I know you're, like, famous musicians or magicians. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Sing. <laughs> and I do mm. backup music. I kazoo. Oh. I, I show her my kazoo. <laughs> it goes, mm. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. <laughs> you know, That's I can good. make it do music too sometimes. Oh, okay. Not oh. just noises. Okay. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> you are so good. It's- you are so good, and I'm just so happy to have friends like you guys, and you're just so good. And like, I'm not good. I blow things up. But you can blow things up for good. What? I don't know. Oh, that's, that's too I much. I don't know. Mm. Um, we gotta talk to Brittany, apparently. Okay, right, because you guys gotta, gotta do a magic show. Okay. <laughs> if you need me to hold your hair later, just tell me. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, you can control it! You can control it! I'm looking to go. <laughs> <laughs> her hair's just kind of like <laughs> floating all around her head, like a little wonky. That's genius. Uh, <laughs> so, is there anything else you want to try and ask her while you guys are in a uh, drunken stupor? Like, I want to know more about Marikai. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I can't think of anything like off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I know that she blows stuff up. She's part mm-hmm. of House Farland. Um, ask her what her favorite color is. <laughs> Favorite Favorite color? Yeah. Ask her who she has a crush on. Yeah! Oh, shit! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, Marikai. Marikai. Hmm? What's your favorite color? Also, also? Green. (laughs) Also? Hmm? Between Jolly and Samantha, who do you have a crush on? (laughs) Samantha. (laughs) She's hot, right? She's like... Turbo hot, but like that stupid name. 
<laughs> like, I'm just gonna call her Sammy. Samsung. Sammy. Sam. <laughs> you gotta put those names. No, you gotta, gotta those get A's the. No, you get the A's out of here. <laughs> get them out of here. <laughs> So as I'm pushing Marikai out My of our room hot. into Brittany's room, okay. I, I start screaming, Brittany, I brought you a bunch of eggs. <laughs> Brittany, what are we going to do with Brittany, them? You, you You got to make, you make um, musics and I, we got all the A's to take them from Samantha. <laughs> I mean, thank you. She's kind of like falling over a little bit. So. I like... Grab her, come, come this way, and I lead mm -hmm. her like into the room, and I sit her down on okay. the chair. Okay. Okay. Also, Brittany, I'm sorry. Like, I know I've been mean, and I've been teasing you a lot with Jolly. So, I brought. Well, Marikai brought this. Bottle she, she's she's for you. You do it. You do it. Spirit I'll take this. Also, it's fine. I have a brilliant idea, and we're going to make this the best concert we've ever seen. We've ever performed in. Is it because of Jolly? No, it's no. He, I mean, no, 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 no. It's because of me. Jolly's a fireman. <laughs> exactly. And we're going to use it to our advantage. He doesn't know how to put out fires, though. It's fine. It's He's not going to be doing anything but standing up on the stage with a giant gun that shoots glitter, so it's fine. That's all he needs to do. He's, he can't possibly. He's a glitter up. man? He's going to be. <sighs> also, when did we make Samantha our accountant? It's a disguise. <sighs> She's not. Rhaegar can't do math. What happened to Rhaegar? <laughs> <laughs> did we leave him? That's probably okay, though. <laughs> well, I mean, Atlas was a guard before, so he's probably a guard now. I get them both giant glasses of water. Okay, okay. and we arrive. Yes, we arrive. <laughs> Finally, all right? And, yes, uh, and I just look at the two of you. Hey, Samantha. Hey. They took, they took all your A's away, by oh, the way. You're just so Samantha. You're just Samantha now. Excuse me? Say that one more time? Samantha. Okay. Um, yeah, they might have had too much to drink. What clues you in? We should pro don't you have a magic spell or something to sober them up? No, I bet you like could a song put a you spell on Mary Kate. <laughs> Okay. She's like twirling. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. It's called water. Okay. Yeah. Why don't uh, you go feed her some water? <laughs> no, that's all right. Remember when you threw water on my head? Maybe you should try that on them. Well, I did. I gave them both tall glasses of water. Uh -huh. You weren't actively drunk at that point. Right. But that's the point. You're I was injured stinky. and you dumped water on my head. So I figured sloppy but drunk. They probably definitely deserve it, but I guess that's where you draw the line. I understand. Look, you're actively stinky. <laughs> I, I used to be a tall glass of water. You were. <laughs> okay. Wait, so can we focus? We, for a I second? did not see you there. There's a family meeting, apparently. We're First, having a family meeting. Yes. Let me say. Me and Brittany are family. So glad to be part of a family, finally. <laughs> Thank you. Too. Thank you for referring to my butt as well. What? In the letters. Oh, yes. Oh, I learned that word today. What what a what a butt is? No, just how to read the oh. word. Well, I'm so I'm so proud. Jolly of you. helped me. Samantha. Um is Edwin in his chambers? <laughs> well, was yes. I like cuz I assume like yes. I was going to be like I'm going to have a family meeting yeah. and I would love to so, see Edwin. So, I think you two because Mary Kate and Christina kind of like barged in. Yeah, they did. Um, and so you two, I assume, we're just kind of like chatting. Yeah. So if we want to, we can take if a little chatting. You mean? No, I'm just joking. But I was gonna say, let's take a step back. If you want to, is there anything that you want to do and have a conversation with Edwin? No, I'm this busy happens? working. No, okay. So it's more like pleasantries. Yes. Like, oh, the oh, weather yes. is oh, beautiful yes. outside. Thank you for letting me stay. Of course. I'm of busy course. working on yeah. this shit. 
And like in the middle of a drink and like he was probably like trying to like say something charming or something probably. like that. And then like the door <laughs> gets like kicked in mm-hmm. and sloppy Mary Kate and Christina come in just With like the A's. We got all the A's. <laughs> <laughs> so then Edwin, like after hearing all of this, like it, this whole conversation, <clears throat> he's like, um, I should, I should probably go. It'll just I'll, be like an hour. Yeah. I'll, thank I'll just, thank you. Thank you. Edwin. Yes, of course. <laughs> Bye Edwin. Uh, goodbye, Samantha. Oh, uh, got it. We know. Uh, not the anymore. A's. You took the A's. That's right. <laughs> what do I do with so them? So he leaves. I have them now. They're mine. Still a Samantha. But, if you want hey, to, wait. you can just call me Sam. Sam. Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the story? All right. Uh, I give these two more glasses of water. Mm-hmm. I've been giving them lots and lots of water after a little bit um marakai like starts to kind of like her eyes are like blinking back and forth and like you see a bunch of like lightning kind of like <laughs> like all over and she's like no oh. all right i'm sober what's up hmm? huh hmm? all right i'm glad <laughs> wow. you're all here oh wow we have a show Ooh, to perform a in, in fairhaven and it has to be good and it will be good I need uh, all of your help, including you, Jolly. Okay. To make this a reality. You get to hold the fire hose that shoots sprinkles and sparkles. You have a fire hose that shoots sprinkles and sparkles? I, I'll find one in Fairhaven. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh, those we'll are probably something you could pick up at any corner store. Exactly. Rhaegar knows. It's we're, Samantha. We're in private <laughs> quarters. It's okay to use their real names. Um... So I. And you should call called Atlas out. Jolly. Well, he's, he's growing, sort of better. He's this growing way. on her, but like not. <laughs> exactly. Um, I rifle through my satchel and I hand everyone a piece of paper. Okay. And then I rifle through my satchel and I hand everyone an outfit, except Jolly, because you already have. I have a fireman outfit. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to have a great show. Don't get me wrong, but the reason. I'm going to Fairhaven is to meet a dragon. Yeah, but we need a fourth dancer, so I'm going to have to teach you how to dance, and you're going to be part of the choreographed dance. So you have to wear the outfit, and you oh, have you to be part it. of the show. You just got wiggly, got the looks. I mean, that much you I look know. You great. Also, right. Brandy, did you, make a, did you make an outfit for, for Felicia? Oh, Felicia. Have you met Felicia yet? Um, I'll make an album. She's my daughter. Later. <laughs> We're very close. She looks so cute. Thank in a you. Fire mask. She would look so cute. I mean, she looks cute. Anyway, don't you? You look so cute. But yes, in a little fireman outfit, fire lady. She would look adorable. Yeah, so I will make your rat an outfit. That's fine. Thank you. Um, <laughs> also, how much do you pay your dancers? <laughs> That depends on how well you do this. Okay. So you better dance hard. Fantastic. (laughs) So these are your outfits here. I've also attached the dance moves for all of us to practice, which we will be practicing nonstop for the next two days. So get your bodies ready. Oh boy. And Christina, I have given you the lyrics. I've given everybody the lyrics, but you will be seeing. Mark, I reaches over and takes the bottle of wine that Christina gave to you. That's, I mean, I have plenty of wine. We can share it. She just starts getting drunk again. That's fine. <laughs> Are also, we? if you can sing, what? we can use you as a backup singer as well. Well, you can. We, show, we watch your show. You can sing. <laughs> so, you will now be singing part of the chorus with us. Rhaegar, can you sing? I can do it all. You can rap. Yeah. Okay, you'll be singing with us, too. You get to just hold hold the hose at the very end. I can sing! You get to hold the hose at the very end. (laughs) That shoots sparkles everywhere. I can do it all! That's what you get to do. The most important job, Jolly. Can he ride the hose like a snake? (laughs) Sure. Yes. As long as it doesn't interfere with our dance moves. Okay. I'm happy that you're including me. That's I'm kind of picturing this. Jolly with the hose and kind of like a cowboy thing with a fire hat, maybe just sort of dancing around the stage. No, 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 that's too much. Jolly needs to be in the background holding the hose because then no one will be watching your dancing. Okay, you're doing that in the background. Okay, yeah. okay. 
But my presence brings it to the foreground. No, Your no, presence no. You're is our presence. You're in the back shooting sparkles <laughs> over all of us. Got it. Yes. Covering you with my sparkles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Just shooting Phrasing. them all over yep. the place. Yep. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Just it. cover the stage in them. You got it. Okay. I'm great at this. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I never knew such a little guy could shoot so many sparkles, but you're going to get the job done. Just wait till you see my host. Oh. <laughs> really looking forward to this. Oh, man. There's and a I reason think... we do this late at night, you guys. I think with that, we're going to take a break, because <laughs> that's a great place to end an episode. Hey, what's up, everybody? Rick here. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Hero Squad Under the Dragon Shadow. And if you guys did, maybe consider becoming one of our patrons, like all these amazing people have. Your guys' help directly contributes to us creating new series like Uranium Chef, Hero Squad, and so much more to come in the future. So if you guys can, click that link down below, become a patron, get some awesome rewards. Thanks for your support, guys. We'll see you next time.